Hey guys, we're back with some more Skyrim. Um, but just uh, looking at this guy. There's no real safe way down here. Oh yeah, there is. Never mind. Okay. There is a safe way down here. So we will um, talk to this guy. Mr. Uh, Septimus Cygnus. When the top level was built, eh? no more could be placed. It was and is the maximal apex. I hear you know about the Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls, indeed. The Empire, they absconded with them. Or so they think. The ones they saw. Ah, the ones they thought they saw. I know of one. Forgotten. Sequestered. But I cannot go to it. Not poor Septimus, for I, I have arisen beyond its grasp. Hmm. So, where is the scroll? Here. Ooh. Well, here as in this place. Aw. Mondas, Tamriel, nearby, relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. Hmm. Can you help me get the Elder Scroll or not? One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. What do you want? You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men. But he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Hmm. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Dremer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> Where is this Black Reach? Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Mzark. Of Tan, the point of puncture, of first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. How do I get in? Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing to us a hunk of metal to the Dwemer a full library of knowings but empty find Mazark and its sky dome the machinations there will read the scroll and lay the law upon the cue trust Septimus he knows you can know all right <coughs> Um. Well, I'm not going to ask any more questions because I just want to get on with it. Now, uh, see, this is a um, a Dwemer device, I believe, or something. I'm not quite sure what it is. I always thought the Dwemer were kind of cool. Um, they're like, from what I understand, they're like elf dwarves. They're like elves that lived underground or something like that. I don't even know. Um. Uh, I really need to catch up on my Elder Scrolls history. I really need to, because I'm just kind of ignorant about all of it, in a way. I wish that I wasn't. Now, someone informed me, I believe, that... Okay, so I'm going to Alftand. Um, but I'm not there yet, so I'll have to go to... I want to go to Whiterun real quick. I have my reasons, don't worry. I'm going to go to Whiterun. And then I'm going to uh, hopefully pray at the temple, which will hopefully um, 
lift my uh, diseases. Now, I um, I've heard like someone explained it to me that there's no real temple here. It's just um, this place. You'll see. Probably where the crazy guy is always like talking. I think it's there. That's where I was told it was anyway. How much money do I have? Not enough to upgrade my house. But how much weight do I have? I do have enough weight on me to pick up all the stuff that I dropped off at my house. So, I'll probably do that. Get up there. So is this the temple altar to worship at? To cure my diseases? Ah, it is. Ah, alright. Blessing of Talos added. Alright, so if I look at my magic, active effects, no more, um... Hmm. Anyway, no more do I have these, um... Um... Diseases. So... Yeah. That's, uh, that's good. No longer do I have any diseases. So I should be... People shouldn't be calling me sick looking all the time, which is good. You look to be kind of poor, lady. I'm sorry. Want some money? Well, I'm not sure if I can give her money. Whatever. You know, now that I say that, like, sh I probably couldn't give her money because it wasn't part of the dialogue option. That makes me... Shut up. That makes me kind of want to, um... Play like a Robin Hood character where, like, I give money, I steal money from the rich, give money to the poor, like, through pickpocketing. It's kind of cool. Right now, I want to put my new books in here. Do I already have, I think I already have Thief on there. Oh, that's on the bookshelf. No, 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 don't, don't take the ones from the bookshelf. Ugh, whatever. No, don't look at it. Put it in there. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Okay, cool. Cool enough. I need to get my stuff out of the upstairs room and... Honored to see you again, my friend. Whatever. She kind of creeps me out. She's like, uh... Living with me. It's kind of weird. Yeah, chest. There we go. I'll take the, um... Amethyst. I'll, I'll sell them off slowly. Because some of these things are really quite... Uh, expensive. So, um... I'll take the uh, things that aren't too heavy w with me. Everything else I'm going to leave here. But, uh, yeah, the dragon stuff is way too heavy. The dragon bones and everything. Honor to you. Way too heavy for me to bother with. So I'm not going to take those. Alright, now I'm going to go into this, this store. To see if I can potentially sell some of that stuff. And then I'm going to get back onto my quest. I guess it would have made more sense, like, story-wise or, uh... Role playing wise, to go to the uh, to do the uh, quest first, because it was on the way. But you know, whatever. Misc. All right, amethyst. Yes. Okay. Sell this. Sell that. Sell the ruby. All right. Cool. Sell the. Um, I'll keep the soul gems. They're kind of useful. Do come back. I will one day, buddy. I will. I need to find a really rich merchant. That's what I need. Alright, so now I gotta travel to... Here's my, here's my plan for getting to this place. My plan is to travel to Winterhold. And then walk there from Winterhold. So... I do need to join the resistance at some point. Although I imagine that um, 
hands to yourself, sneak deal. Not a thief, buddy. I do imagine that. Um, what's the one I'm looking for? I, my character would consider saving the world a bit more important than um, joining the revolution, the revolt, whatever it's called. I do think that saving the world could be considered slightly more important, so I'll focus on that for now. I, I, you know, I said I wasn't going to just do the main story. Like I said it in a comment, someone asked me, are you just going to focus on the main story? And I'm like, yeah, no, not really. I mean, I, li I like doing side quests. I do. And it's not like I'm just going to end this Let's Play as soon as I'm done with all the um, main quest stuff. It's going to go on, but... Um, I don't know. I've, I've focused a bit on the main quest because I feel like they make it urgent. Uh, that was one of my problems with Oblivion was... Th I felt like in Oblivion, they made the main quest feel urgent, but then they never gave you the drive to do it, which is one of my main huge problems with Oblivion. Because then I felt like I was just, like, wasting my time. But how the hell am I going to get over there? Can't get there from there. All right. There should be, like, a pass somewhere. Are these mountains just insurmount insurmountable? What the heck is that? I went... Oh! That scared me. Okay. Okay, that's a cat. That's a giant cat. That actually made me jump a little bit. Okay. I knew that there was something following me, but I wasn't sure what it was. I'm now I'm all the way back here. God damn it. I'll have to run back. Get back to where I was. Fight this cat again. Not not become ethereal. I want uh unrelenting force. Or well not unrelenting force, actually I want um fire breath. I feel like that's going to become my, um, probably my new favorite, maybe. Maybe not, maybe not. Because this guy is... Yep, okay, he's he can uh, survive that pretty easily. So let me try... Let me try Fusurda. Maybe even I'll just try, um, the running one. Wold. Now run. You're faster than that cat. Come on. Come on. Oh crap. Oh god, it's catching up. It's catching up. It's catching up. Okay, I'm terrible. Alright, I guess I'll just use the uh, speed one. Alright. Whirlwind Sprint. Save up my stamina. Or rather... Can I hit it from here? I can try. There we go. Now run. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. It is way too fast for me. Why are these things... Why is this harder than a dragon? How is this harder than a dragon? I've killed dragons and I can't kill a freaking cat. Don't see me, buddy. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. I don't think he saw me. All right, all right, there we go. So I'll just repeat that over and over again. All right, I think I'm safe from this cat. All right, let me just go around this way then. I will just ignore him. So this is the pass we got to go through. All right. Crap. You noticed me. Okay. What do I have on Woven Spirit? There we go. There we go. Come on, run. There we go. There we go. Run, 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 run. 
They will not catch up to me. I have wooled again in a second. Come on. There we go. Just keep running. Don't look back. Don't look back. The second you look back, you're dead. The second you look back, you're dead. They're not chasing you. They're still chasing me. Are they? I think they are. Go wound. There we go. Keep running. Okay, we're safe. Oh god, okay. Okay. Those things are scarier than dragons. They really are. Ah, well. I'm out of time, folks. So I'll end the recording here. So as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching, folks.